So I just want to show you guys the reality of moving and what has been going on basically for the past, I don't know, four days. I've been moving all my stuff. It is now Wednesday. I started on like Sunday or like Saturday night. It was kind of like mixed into one. Packing everything up, trying to get everything ready for this move. It has been chaos. I am still wearing the same pants like almost four days in a row. I've also worn this shirt almost twice because I don't want to like wear things that I'm planning on packing and then like having to clean it and then repack it and then send it's just too much shit and honestly I don't give a damn because I'm in my own house anyways I haven't really been like properly documenting the move or anything like that but Monday at like 9 a.m. Roadway Movers is coming to move all of my stuff. Literally three years of living in New York in this apartment, but eight years total of living in New York City. To Los Angeles, to my new apartment that I love so, 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 so much. I literally had like a week and some change um, while working in LA. I was shooting for Rihanna's laundry brand Fenty. That I know a lot of you guys love and shop. And I appreciate all of your good feedback and tags and everything every time you guys see me in something Fenty. It makes me really happy. There's Piggy Smalls. Piggy, how do you feel about moving? He said it sucks. <laughs> but he's excited to go Hollywood, right Smalls? He's like, why aren't we going outside? Why are you in here talking to yourself on the camera? Because it's important. You will never understand. <sighs> what was I saying? You guys, like, you know how they say, like, pregnant moms or, like, after you have a baby, you have baby brain? Like, there's also moving brain, I think. Because there's just so much shit going on at any given time. It's like, I don't have time to think about, like, other things that just don't even relate to, like, what I have going on. Which is a lot. God, where was I? Finding house. Yes, found an apartment that I absolutely loved within my week and some change in LA. Signed the lease literally the day before I was supposed to come back to New York. Didn't want to wait on it because in LA, if you wait on something, like it's just gone. It's kind of like New York City, but the actual like apartment hunting process is totally different. And I have documented that a little bit on my Insta stories, just how different it really is. Cause it's very different. Like in New York, you know, you go online, you go on Street Easy, you go on Zillow, you go on whatever, Trulia, or Trulia, who, who knows, doesn't matter. And you search for an apartment, like a normal human being that lives in 2018. In LA, it's like the Hunger Games out there when it comes to apartments. If you don't find something online that suits like your needs, you just drive around in your car until you find a sign that says for rent and then you stop your car and then you take a picture or you call the person on the sign and that's how you find an apartment. That's not how I found my apartment. Cause I was about to get into a car accident just like looking at those signs. But in the meantime, in between time, I gotta pack all this shit up and get it there. As you can see, I have no makeup on. My hair is like how it is. Oh, wow, it just got worse. Oh my God. So let me show you basically how I'm living right now. So my bathroom has shit all over the place. I mean, that is kind of how my bathroom counter looks normally because I have 5 million beauty products that I use on a regular basis. These are two suitcases that I'm going to be packing to be able to move immediately. Then I've unpacked like basically all purses. Like these are just uh, like this many purses out of all the purses that I have. Um, some of these are coming to LA with me immediately and some are going in a box. This is what my living room looks like right now. Chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. And I know I never actually did an apartment tour. I'll probably do one in my new apartment once I have it all set up. But this is or was 
my apartment. I would love to say that this couch area doesn't normally look like this. Usually it actually looks worse because it's usually filled with so many PR packages. I could like die, but uh, some things are just like unorganized right now. Like this table doesn't usually look like this. Um, Biggie's bed and stuff isn't usually here. There's just so much going on that it's like fucking chaos. It's fucking chaos. This is my gorgeous view. I, it's funny, I wasn't going to like video any of these things, but I feel like I should. This is my view that I'm going to seriously, seriously miss. I almost want to cry. This is Manhattan. This is the Hearst building. Um, the New York, um, oh my god, moving brain. What is the building called? The Empire State Building is back there. You can't see it because it's like being blocked by these buildings. That's the West Side Highway, which in Manhattan we only got two highways. We got the West Side and we got the FDR, which is behind there. This is New Jersey, like Hoboken area. Super, super cute. There's always like big boats on this water. This is the Hudson River. Um, and I can hear them like honking all the time. I'm gonna miss it actually. So I'm on the 30th floor of my building. So as you can see, it's a long way down. I don't usually look. My room, which I like just got out of bed. Usually my bed is made, don't play me. Um, <laughs> I still have to do my room and like certain things on the dresser. I've like ripped certain things out, so that's why it looks like this. Um, as you can see, there's boxes over there. Um, when Roadway gets here on Monday, they're bringing me wardrobe boxes, so we're gonna like just take all this shit out and put it in a wardrobe box. All of these things are for donations. I hit up Just for Success and asked them if I could send them all of these bags of clothes and accessories and shoes and they said yes so those are going all of these dresses and things are gonna go in wardrobe boxes as you can see there is a lot so yeah guys welcome to my crib thanks for stopping by um I'm gonna drink some Starbucks until I can't breathe and finish all this shit You gonna help me, Smalls? I'll take that as a absolutely not. Yep, just as I thought. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this uh, apartment tour slash um, dismantling of my life. I'm excited to start a new life, new journey in LA. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, I'm just like putting out all the good energy and hoping for the best. I'm going to miss New York severely, 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 but I am looking forward to a new chapter, new journey in my life with my smalls. Say bye. That's, that's me saying bye. See you guys on moving day. Hey guys. So it is moving day officially. You can see I had a rough night last night, being that it's my last night sleeping in my bed in this apartment that I've had for three years. Um, it got a little emotional, um, very emotional. Actually, I had a full on anxiety panic attack last night. Um, questioning this whole move and if I'm making the right decision and what's gonna happen when I get there and blah blah blah. Obviously I know that it is just the enemy trying to get in my head because I know this is a good decision in my heart. It's just a lot but thankfully I mean pretty much everything is ready to go. My mom and my sisters and my boyfriend Gordon helped me pack up um, everything. I decided to record this so you can see. <laughs> Literally my lashes are the only thing keeping me looking halfway decent right now. Because I know a lot of you are thinking about making a big move in your life and you know I've been pretty positive about everything so far the experience because I truly didn't really feel 
all the feels and emotions until last night. But I've, I've been, you know, like excited and everything, but there still is another side to that, another part to that, which is extreme sadness and despair. Those are actually the movers here now. So here goes nothing. blinked and half of everything that was in my kitchen is gone they move so fast thank you roadway seconds in this apartment and you can hear the echo in my voice because the shit is empty. This was where I lived. There's Milan. Back there. Wait. I get you in focus. Wait. I never realized because I had a desk in this area that I had a view of the Empire State Building this whole entire time and I never saw it until yesterday. Ain't that about a bitch. Oh, I have my I Love New York shirt on that Emily and Jessica gave me yesterday at my going away party, which explains why I look so crazy because I'm very hungover. I put on the invitation, no tears, let's cheers. And I think that myself and my friends took that a little too literally because we are all feeling it today. Goodbye bathroom. It was such a cute bathroom. I loved that sink. Goodbye, fridge. <laughs> Goodbye, cabinet. <sighs> <laughs> Leave me alone. This is why you have to do these things by yourself because people are judgmental. Goodbye, New York. <sighs> I'm Ariana Grande, bitch. I got no tears left to cry. I've cried them all out. <laughs> that was literally the chapter closing on my life. How does that make you feel? Terrible. Are you gonna be okay? No.